Welcome to the South Texas Plains, where an unmistakable Mexican influence can be found at every turn. It reaches from the charming city streets to the authentic arts and crafts found here and even to the endless Texas skies. To discover how the region was shaped by the culture, let's start with the shops. If you're interested in wares from master craftsmen, Laredo is the city for you. Specifically, San Bernardo Avenue. It's more than 40 blocks dedicated to promoting Mexican arts and crafts. Since 1938, Vegas Imports has been a popular spot to pick up beautiful hand-carved furniture for every room in the house. The furniture itself is uh, based in a Mediterranean style, Spanish, uh, colonial, Italian, uh, French. Besides that, we handle lighting fixtures, chandeliers, and uh, all the accessories for the home. Can't find exactly what you want? They'll gladly create a custom piece just for you. There are other ways to find a gem than browsing through shops. Choke Canyon State Park and Reservoir in Three Rivers holds a surprise for anyone with their eye on the sky. We have a great deal of fishing here. Uh, all fishermen come from all over the United States, but a lot of people do come out for kayaking and boating as well. The reservoir's diverse habitats host a variety of game fish, like largemouth bass, blue catfish, or alligator gar. The American Birding Association recognizes the reservoir as an ideal place for birders to catch a glimpse of rare species. And because it's so close to the border, lots of Mexican species can be spotted here as well, making it one of Texas' best bird-watching destinations. The Rio Grande Valley has always been a major birding destination. We have two major flyways that come right through the Rio Grande Valley, the Mississippi and the Central. So it's a real diverse community where we can get um, eagles and hawks um, and tiny migratory birds and then lots of wetland birds. Another world-class birding locale can be found in McAllen. Quinta Mazatlan is a historic home built in the 1930s and when you walk through the imposing gates, you, you sort of step back in time and you hear the uh, Tachalacas welcome you and the red-crowned parrots and the green jays. And so it's a tropical oasis right in the heart of McAllen. One of nine sites comprising the World Burning Center, Quinta Mazatlan is surrounded by lush tropical plants and native woodlands designed to attract valley specialties, species that are found no place else in the country. So a birder down here on a day could get 30 to 40 to 50 species you know, if they travel the World Birding Center route, which is uh, dotted along 120 miles uh, along the Rio Grande River. Whether you're looking for rare birds or just looking to get away, you should find yourself here in Texas. It's like a whole other country. The Rio Grande Valley does attract a lot of ecotourists who want to come down and see the birds um, and the trees and in the natural setting, as well as enjoy the restaurants and the hotels and, and all the culture uh, that the area has to bring. From the moment that you get up, your day is half made, and that's because the sun is out. And that is what creates the flowers, the colors. Spring, summer, fall, any time of year, it's a, it's a beautiful place to visit, and I uh, hope you'll join us.